Okay, welcome back everyone. Marek Mulajic here. And in this video, I want to show you one of the newer features that appeared recently in Premiere Pro, where when you create captions, subtitles, uh, you can now also translate them, which is a really exciting feature. We can get all different languages. Okay, so this, this should be fun. Okay, so I've got this video here with the voiceover in there. Okay, <clears throat> so we're going to head on to the text panel so we don't waste our time. And the text panel will well, we want to create uh, we want to create transcription transcript. We want to transcribe. And if you've watched some other videos of mine, you know that uh, text panel has some tabs. So at the moment, I can't see the option to transcribe. So I need to head on to the transcript tab. Here, yeah. and now transcribe. I picked this shorter video so it doesn't take too long. And first we're going to see how it's going to deal with this transcript. And then we'll have a look at the translate option. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to make it translated into Polish and see how it goes. Uh, maybe we can also try uh, French, uh, for example. I haven't tried it on this video yet, just so you know, so we'll see how it goes and how well it deals with the dialogue. I mean, the dialogue is clear in here, but uh, we'll see how it goes with, uh, you know, with the transcript, with translating it into another language and how good it's going to be. Uh, I've tried it on some other videos and it did a really good job, okay? So we'll see. I'm going to pause for a second and we'll continue once this is finished. The transcript finished, so let's see how well it worked in here. Looks good. I think this was more like forward, not afterwards, but let's say... I think it's okay. Okay, so I think it's okay. It's just the favorite should be, you know, in British English. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay, so let's say this is actually not too bad. So, we're going to create captions now, subtitles. It uh, doesn't matter which ones, so I'll go maybe for, say, closed captions, so we can turn it on and off, CA708, this is all good. I'd like to have some gaps between the captions. Uh, I think this is okay, so create captions. And then once you have captions created, then you can get a translation going, which is also going to create another track. So you're going to get one track uh, with uh, your subtitles, your captions. Here we go. <coughs> uh, let's just double check here. All right. So the first scene is I yearn for the mines. So I yearn for the mines. That was a good scene because it's okay. So this went really well. Okay. So got these subtitles here, captions. On another track, let me just get rid of some of these audio tracks here. So we can focus, here we go, on what we've got here. Let's just delete this, here we go, it's got more space. You've got our, you know, the usual captions. Okay, so now, uh, back in the text panel, <coughs> we'll click on this icon here to translate it. This is the exciting stuff. So it's English auto-detected, okay. And uh, then what shall we go for? Well, let's go for, so you can see there are a bunch of languages which are supported. I'm going to pick Polish. But there are so many, you know, there are so many languages here <clears throat> to choose from, from all around the world, okay. It's actually quite exciting to see that we have Polish, because I can't see Czech or Slovak, okay. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. Uh, so, seven, seven, eight, the same, that's all far, all good, so I'm going to click translate and see what happens there. It's going to update the captions. <clears throat> now, what's going to happen now is we get in a new track, okay? So, 
So I'm going to uh, select one of the captions, like the first one, here in the timeline. So your text panel changes and shows your captions. Okay, so let's see. Uh, okay. This is good. No, I, I probably should double check. Uh, so I'm just going to maybe just move this video ever so slightly so I can see the captions better. Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see. So it starts here. I think it's info device. So here. <coughs> okay. This is good. Good enough. Then we got so in for the mines. Uh, yes, that's okay. <coughs> I think that's okay. <coughs> and he tells us that he knew what he really wanted to go to the mines. Mm hmm. And there's two funny bits. Yes. <laughs> Buffalo just keeps the man afterwards. Yes. They don't fight. Yes. Don't even find. <coughs> so funny. Well, the fun is, yeah. Yes, yes, all good. I mean, you could probably, you know, um, change a thing or two, but this is good enough. And it says translated by Google. <laughs> so I think this is really good, you know. That's a really good job. And, you know, if you want something else, so. You know, we go back to our transcript in English. So I'm going to select one of the captions in English again. Click on the translate. Pick another language. <clears throat> I can pick maybe uh, French. And translate. <clears throat> and see how this is going to work out in here. Maybe I'll pick something that I would know. <laughs> so let's see... Maybe this one, let's see. Okay, so we selected. There was a good scene because it just tells the story stuff. So in Bonsen, Pascal, nous raconte l'histoire et tout ça. I think this is good enough. Well, you know French, uh, if you know French better, if you're a French speaker, you probably pick some things. But I think this is actually not too bad. I think it's good enough. You know, and there's two funny bits. Est-il y a deux moments amusants? Uh, probably, I guess, okay. Uh, let's see, they don't fight, ils se ne battent pas. Uh, um, Sopane, tellement trot, et aussi un film, the fun is, le plaisir. So I think it's actually not too bad. Uh, this one is actually interesting enough. Uh, this translation is from Microsoft Translator. So it looks like they'll be using different sources here. So you can click on this and you can get we leave some feedback. So now we have three three tracks with three different languages. And you know, if I wanted to export it, say in French, I can just turn French on, turn off the English. Here we go, and then export it. Same for Polish. Turn it on, turn French off, and now we have it in Polish. So I think this is a really really good feature. It seems to work really well, I would say. So you don't have to worry about doing translations yourself, I would say, or ask someone to do it for you. I think that's a really good job. Okay, so that's the uh, captions slash translations in Adobe Premiere Pro in 2025. This is Premiere 2025 only. Okay, uh, I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm Marek Mularczyk from MarekMularczyk.com and see you next on the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now.